Good morning, Cornerstone. It's Independence Day, the 4th of July, so uh, definitely want to uh, you know welcome everybody this morning to that. Um, we um, oftentimes find ourselves thinking about independence and freedom, but for us to have true freedom in Christ, you know, we, we need to become engaged in the ministry of reconciliation. So I just wanted to uh, read a passage to you, my, one of my favorite passages actually, in uh, 2 Corinthians 5, uh, verses 18 through 20. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Therefore, we are ambassadors for Christ, God making his appeal through us. For we implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. So that's one of my favorite things that I've, I, you know, that, that Christ has given to us uh, on behalf of God is this ministry of reconciliation. And to me, that focuses on helping us to, to recognize that, that while we are to be uh, in the world, we're not of this world. And so it's not a matter of, of taking sides other than taking the side of those who are, are feeling like that they are lacking in freedom. And right now we've seen a lot of demonstrations of that type of, of lack of freedom and how people are feeling. But we need to remember that God calls us to reconcile all to him and that we're to be the peacemakers, as we see in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14. And um, we need to, to look at not only those who are oppressed, but we also need to look at uh, those who are the oppressors and help them to recognize the error in their way and to call them to, to want to, uh, to love God as well. And uh, we need to love them, and we need to, to definitely come alongside in this ministry of reconciliation and be the advocate for those who are oppressed and to uh, help them to, uh, to come to know God and to help us to be reconciled one to another.